Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little tips and tricks video. Have you ever wondered, is your Facebook account hacked? And you feel like you'd like to know if it is or not. Here are some of the signs and here's also in this tips video, a way to know if somebody's logging into your Facebook from somewhere else. So first of all, what are the signs of a Facebook, Facebook account that might have been hacked? Um, if your friends are receiving on your behalf private messages with um, all sorts of links and uh, maybe you know offers that you know you never sent, that's one sign. So if somebody else says, hey, I've received from you a link to a game or a link to something and you didn't do anything, uh, basically, your account might be compromised. Another way to know for sure, check your personal information. So in the upper right corner, you have settings. Check your settings, check your personal information. Make sure that everything in the information that you have is correct, that your um, date of birth, everything is okay. But one interesting thing, and this is probably the most important, where you can take a look if yes or no you're being hacked. If you go into the security tab, so you go on the upper right, you click, you go into settings, there you will go into security. There's something called where you're logged in. And if you look at where you're logged in, it will show you everywhere that you've logged in and the recent uh, activity that you had, what browser you used, and what area somebody logged in with. So, of course, you got to remember that you might be logging in with your phone, with your PC. Um, so, you have to take into account all of these. But if somebody is logging in and he's not in your city, for example, or you see activity with a browser you're not using. So for example, here it says Firefox because that's what I'm using to enter this account. But if it shows you maybe a browser you never use, if it shows you you're you know, logging in from a thousand miles away, then yep, your account might be compromised. And what can you do? Well, you can, the best first thing to do when you think your act is to change your password. That, for the most part, fixes 90% of all the hacking. Now, one of the things that a lot of people think is, oh my God, Facebook is so bad in security, we're all getting hacked, they are not, they're careless. Well, the problem is, Facebook does not have any problems where people are logging in and hacking your accounts. It ain't Facebook the problem, it's you. There are several ways that bad guys get that information. If you're using a really, really bad password, anything that has a word in the dictionary, anything that doesn't contain weird characters of upper lower case numbers and everything, you have to have something that is as long as possible and that is complex. 90% um, of the people being hacked are hacked just because their account is simply uh, with a very simple password. Second thing that you need to know is that being hacked uh, sometimes means that you might be infected with something. So if you got hacked on your Facebook, for example, might be a good idea to use Malwarebytes or your antivirus and scan your machine for anything that could be stealing your passwords. So of course, in your privacy, you need to have this um, fixed. And finally, you've got something called login alerts. If you click there, you can say, I want to get email notifications, or you can get mobile notifications of somebody's is right now uh, going into your Facebook account. So like that, if you're not at home, if you're not on Facebook, you're not using Facebook, and then you get an alert that somebody is using your Facebook, it's another way that you'll know that you're hacked. So these are all security uh, features that you can use, and it's actually good security f uh, features. And then you've got login approvals that you can also add. Login approvals, what it will do is, if you put a check mark here, 
it says it's going to require login code to access your account from unknown browsers. This is a fantastic security feature because if somebody tries to access your account from another place, it won't work unless you enter that code. That code can be received on your smartphone or via email. There are several ways to get it. And of course, every time you will log in from your main computer or your cell phone or smartphone, it's not going to ask that because it knows that these are places you log in usually. But every time something new, a new computer or from some other place, well, you'll have to enter a code. So this blocks pretty much anyone from hacking your account. So uh, this is what we call two-step authentication. So I hope these little tips and tricks for your Facebook account helped you and uh, make sure that you are safe. Facebook hacking is something that happens quite often. Uh, I even have a lot of my friends in my own personal friend list that got hacked at some point. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up and hope you enjoy these little tips and tricks video.